Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last year on the 2nd of October, that was the day after Microsoft started the rollout of Windows 11 24H2, I let you know in a video which will be linked that Microsoft had officially confirmed six known issues. And one of those known issues was regarding a conflict with wallpaper customization apps. And more specifically, that after installing version 24H2, some wallpaper customization apps might not launch or function correctly. And because of that, Microsoft had applied a safeguard hold and a compatibility hold on devices which were utilizing one of those wallpaper customization applications. Check the video out for more info. Now, just to let you know that if a safeguard hold was applied to your system regarding wallpaper customization apps that Microsoft has said now that it has started to gradually remove the safeguard hold. So if you try to install version 24H2 using Windows Update, the Windows 11 installation assistant or the media creation tool, you might receive a message requesting you to uninstall your wallpaper app first. And something else you can do is Microsoft recommends you can actually update your wallpaper customization app first, since the newer version might be compatible. And something else you may want to do is you can uninstall the app instead, which might not um, be optimum. But nonetheless, you may want to uninstall it instead. And then after you complete this action, you will be able to finish installing version 24H2. And something else Microsoft just says as a side note is that several wallpaper applications are currently included in this compatibility hold. Now, they don't say which ones exactly, just that several are included. And for this reason, the specific timing of the resolution of this issue on a given device may depend on the application being used and the timing of that application's update. As new versions, they say, and updates are released for these apps by their respective developers, it's expected that these issues will be resolved. So, so at least the start of the removal of the safeguard hold is now in place. A couple of factors influence in actually getting the update through Windows Update at this stage. But at least it's a move in the right direction. And that's one less known issue now that's been resolved but still a couple to go with version 24H2. And I've always said on the channel, when I feel that Windows 11 24H2 is stable enough and most of the issues have finally been ironed out, I'll post a video letting you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.